639 now. Many of you are planning on setting off fireworks to celebrate the 4th of July. And there are a few things you should know about safety. KNWA Today's Denny Camper live at the Rogers Fire Department with some tips to keep in mind during the holiday. Den well, Caitlin, Chris, we stopped at one of those tents where they sell fireworks and all of the other things that people are going to buy here on 4th of July tomorrow. We actually picked up a couple of sparklers as well, and we're talking to Rogers Fire Chief Tom Jenkins about safety. So, first of all, Chief Jenkins, what is the biggest mistake people make when lighting these kinds of things on the 4th? Well, uh, people have to be careful to battle complacency with fireworks. A lot of people grew up around them, and so they think that they're somewhat predictable. But at the end of the day, fireworks are consumer explosives. Um, you know, they, they have to be used uh, in accordance with how the manufacturer wants them to be used. And so people just need to never let their guard down. They need to watch out for their kiddos and, and uh, do things uh, as it's recommended they're, they're used. Okay, and so we're going to attempt to light the sparkler. I'm going to have you kind of walk me through some of the safety things All that right. we should keep in mind. <laughs> Caitlin, Chris, I know you've seen I've been struggling a little bit with this. For the record, I have very... <laughs> That's all right at a fire station. We don't want things to go up. So, right. so sparklers a lot of times seen as a, kind of one of the more safe fireworks, but uh, nothing can be further from the truth. Uh, sparklers in particular burn at over 1,000 degrees. You're doing it right, though, if you're choosing to use fireworks. You're keeping away from your clothing, away from your hair, um, and, and we're outdoors. We don't have anything combustible. We're on a, a cement surface, and so we're not going to cause any fires. We have water nearby, of course, in case we do have a problem and so this is how we would we would want to you know enjoy any type of firework one at a time away from combustibles we're protecting ourselves you know what you're doing you read the instructions and uh, that's important and this seems to be I mean it's burning pretty quick so if parents are gonna let their kids hold these it's important to keep an eye on them because this one isn't gonna last that long a absolutely however it's it you know as, as a safety professional it's always important for people to to be reminded that the best way to enjoy fireworks is to go enjoy a professional show um, if you want to celebrate with fireworks, make sure you do, do it in accordance with local ordinances, whatever community you live in. Uh, there, there really is no 100% safe way to do fireworks, and so it's always a little bit of a risk. Keep them away from kids, and uh, we just rather everybody be safe and enjoy the professional shows. <laughs> I'll take that back from you. Thanks, Chief Jenkins. All right, and for a list of fireworks shows in our area, as well as those ordinances that Chief Jenkins was talking about, about when you can use them in your neighborhood, you can visit our website. That's NWA home page.com. We're live in Rogers, Denny Camper, KWA Today, Northwest Arkansas News. Okay, Denny, thanks.